we're going to be doing some healthy breakfast ideas and these all turned out super yummy so I really hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started let's get cooking <laughs> okay so all you need is a few slices of pepper you can use any pepper that you like you also need some eggs and this is depending on how many of these you want to make then some salt and pepper to taste and you can also use some cheese as well I feel like that is super yummy on top so I'm just gonna let the music play for this recipe because I really like the sounds of cooking. Okay, bye, be right back. So for the overnight oats, you're going to need a little bit more than the pepper recipe. So you're going to need a single banana, not one in a couple, uh, some peanut butter, some oats, some chia seeds, but that is optional, some almond milk, some honey, some vanilla extract, some cinnamon, and finally a mason jar. So you're going to start out by just mashing your single banana in a bowl, and the riper the better, although not too ripe I guess not the riper the better but you know what I am saying and then you just add the oats and then I moved it to a bigger bowl so there's a lot of stuff so I added the almond milk and the cinnamon the vanilla extract as well as the chia seeds I also drizzled some honey and then I added in some peanut butter so then all you do is you stir it together and add it into a mason jar. So this recipe is actually super simple and you just leave it in the fridge overnight or it's ready to eat in about two hours. So I just put it in this mason jar and I also wrote oats on it because I thought it'd be super cute. But that is it for this recipe. So these breakfast bars are so filling and they are genuinely good and just so healthy for you. So you're going to need some dates, some honey, some walnuts, some pecans, and some almonds, some cocoa or cacao powder, some oats, and then some peanut butter. So we're going to start off with putting the walnuts into a food processor and I got mine for like $25 so they're really not crazy expensive. And now I'm just boiling the dates so they will be easier to blend. And then I'm putting the dates into the blender. So now I'm just going to be adding the walnuts back in and then I'm going to be adding the cocoa powder. And we are going to be blending that up. So the consistency of this mixture is very sticky and it is how the bars kind of stick together. So I'm putting that into a large mixing bowl and then I'm going to be adding the oats. And now I'm just going to be crunching up the pecans. So here I'm just adding the pecans into the mixing bowl and now I'm adding some whole almonds. And this was a pretty fun and messy part, but I actually mixed this together with my hands. And now we're going to be adding some peanut butter and honey into a skillet and we heat it up just so it is more pourable and it's easier to mix in with all the other ingredients. So we're just going to be pouring that peanut butter over the mixture and just kind of mixing it with a spoon. You can use your hands, but it will be very hot so you can put plastic bags over them. And now I'm just putting it into this baking dish and flattening it down with my hands. So then you put it in the freezer for 15 to 20 minutes and they are good to go. You can just cut them up and you can store these in the fridge or freezer. Well that is everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I recently filmed a healthy snacks video if you have not seen that one. Um, that video is very similar to this one obviously so definitely check that out if you haven't seen it already and I will have all my social medias linked down below especially snapchat I have a lot of fun on there anyways I will see you guys in the next one bye